Right. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hello. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, it's so cold. Look at this. Look at this, people. Oh yeah, Canada's so fun. Yeah. Shut up. So I really don't understand how the seasons work. Like, how do we get snow here in Canada, but nobody else does? I'm not an idiot, you know, I paid attention in, you know, social 30 or whatever that bullshit class was. I just don't understand why we are blessed with snow and LA or, you know, Puerto Rico isn't. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm starting this video outside again, but I think it's just a common theme that I let Tucker take a shit while I'm out here, you know? My raw gear stuff has been delayed because I am literally filming this video today, December 15th. Okay, and the drop is December 16th, and that is when I'm dropping this video. I am committing today to filming this full video and dropping it tomorrow. So basically today is gonna be a grind for me. So please do me a favor, like the goddamn video, drop a comment if you're feeling generous too. But uh, I'm really trying to push this video to get it out tomorrow. So that would be great if you guys can do that for me. It literally takes two seconds out of your time, out of your day, and it helps me out so much. So thank you, give me a big kiss. Anyways, Tucker is taking so goddamn long. It is minus 18, I think today. Minus 16 actually, so it's pretty cool cold so i'm gonna head inside here after he's done taking a poo but in terms of the delay on my raw gear stuff so i was gonna show you guys in this video like what i got but unfortunately it's probably not gonna get here by tomorrow morning when i drop this video so uh, i'm gonna throw up some things on the screen that i personally got there's like a fleece there's a puffy jacket so if you're from canada or if you're somewhere where it's cold that's gonna be super warm it's like a winter jacket there's other winter jackets ski jackets there's new joggers there's new tees oversized tees you guys know i literally wear oversized tees all the time so yeah that's basically like everything i got and then some other things there's like new belts and shit as well so if you guys do want to pick up anything just click the link down below it goes live today at 12 p.m pst I want to do a couple more giveaways coming up for christmas and stuff like that so um yeah how was your shit pal Tucker? how was the poop pressure's on bro <laughs> couldn't get it eh how much you weigh this morning huh 170 170 157 <laughs> Look at this peanut butter, bro. Bing bong. Salted caramel today, baby. Rocking around the greatest mystery. Hey, 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 Ali. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video, okay. Cream of rice, picked it up, actually very expensive. My buddy who just went to Australia just gave it to me, uh, so I didn't have to pay for it, so I'm very blessed. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about my new weekly workout routine, and kind of what I'm doing in terms of how I properly build muscle in a lean bulk. Now, everyone's training split will be different, obviously, depending on, you know, how many days you can go to the gym, like what you actually want to do, what your main focus is, so like strength or hypertrophy or stuff like that. So I just want to tap into what I currently do because my training and how I look at training now within the last month has actually changed a lot considering I've been following uh, JPG coaching on TikTok lately. Guy is so smart in terms of how he breaks down exercises and how you know he targets different muscles in the body and like what different exercises actually target in terms of uh, you know let's say the back let's say you're hitting a lat pull down it's actually not hitting as much lats as you think depending on where your arm path is and how you drive the bar down it can actually hit like your terrace major so that's like on your back like right by your traps kind of thing or you can get more you know rhomboids and traps if you you know angle your body differently stuff like that so basically i'm gonna go to the gym later we're gonna go probably after i get another meal uh i think we're doing deadlifts today so i'm gonna go pretty heavy but i want to break down kind of like how i structure my workouts nowadays especially because i want to prioritize and maximize this this phase of me you know wanting to build muscle because later on obviously i will be doing a cut again and I want to be obviously much bigger if I can add maybe three pounds of muscle. I don't know if that's shooting it high or not, but that would be kind of ideal. Also, actually really quick, got a question last video about what book I'm reading. Okay, this one. The obstacle is the way fantastic read actually i've read this twice now basically just like goes over it's by ryan holiday if you guys didn't know but basically just like goes over how everyone kind of deals with their own shit in their life and like obstacles come their way but now that the obstacle is in the way you basically that's that's the path so you got to go through the obstacle and you got to like you know work around it so it's very intellectual and you know sophisticated with the way he kind of describes his message and everything like that so fantastic read for those of you who want to read self-improvement books or stuff like that uh, but yeah, book update. Three, two, one. Oh. Go. 
done. Not the quickest, not the slowest. You see it? Hold on, hold on. Minute 45. Pre-workout plus back in stock. The only difference between uh, this stuff and the regular pre-workout, like the Mike and I stuff that I showed you guys in the last video, this one is 300 milligrams and that one's only 150. So you need two scoops of that to equal this. So we're gonna go in there, absolutely destroy our abductors doing deadlifts and PR. I had a PR last <laughs> If you feel good though. Yeah, we'll know. see if I feel good then yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We hot. That's so good, man. I'm gonna be buzzing in there. I'm gonna be flying. All right, so we're gonna go in there, do deadlifts. It's currently four o'clock. So we're coming at the very busiest time of the day. So there's only one deadlift platform and I hope they know that we're coming because we're gonna take it. And if someone's on it, we're gonna- Why I on it. <laughs> Small little bone to pick. There's been word that good life may or may not be closing down again. I don't know. Okay. Don't quote me on it for people that go to this gym, but um, if it does shut down, that is absolutely bullshit. Whoever is complaining who works out in this gym, if you wear a mask, you are complaining that other people are not wearing their mask while they're walking from one machine to the other. Don't fucking go to the gym. Don't even work out. Like you're literally gonna get it shut down for everybody and then you won't even be able to go to the gym. So do yourself a favor, stop complaining. If you're going to this gym, let us work out with you. Oh! In terms of like this training block that we're doing right now and like how I build muscle, basically I've been doing like power building. So I'll focus on bench, overhead press, deadlift and squat, right? But as of late, like obviously I'm still focusing on that and like I wanna build up those numbers, of course, especially for Danny as well. But um, because I've been following a lot of JPG stuff on TikTok and stuff, he prioritized a lot his like two top sets or like one to two. So basically I'm gonna work up to like a six to eight rep range, usually on most of my days, probably like at least once a week for bench, overhead press, squat and deadlift. So that's what we're doing here. I'm basically gonna do four warm-up sets and then I'm gonna work up to two top sets of like six to eight reps and then just go back down for my last set, just do a drop back of like 15 to 20. And I want to make the most out of like this phase of having a bunch of calories. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now in terms of that. And then in terms of my split right now, we're still doing what? Chest back, arm, shoulders, legs nice. times two basically. But then I have one extra rest day after that leg day. So lower A and then uh, after lower B basically because again, I want to prioritize recovery and rest during this period. Period. So that's kind of like how we're structuring things moving forward. So really, really trying to nail down my form and technique for those top sets because I feel like lately we, we've been super like just fatigued mm -hmm. um, because we've been doing like four to five like heavy, heavy set and really driving to volume. And obviously that'll help with hypertrophy, but I, I just want to, you know, get stronger, but also recover better in this phase. So that's kind of what we're doing. So I'm gonna do one more warm up set with probably 405, and then work up to 435 maybe and do like six to eight, somewhere around there. So. In terms of like how I'm training now, I'm not like going till complete like failure fatigue way too early on in the workout. So I'm gonna do one more set, probably six to eight again, but I'm keeping it more conservative to like increase my lifts over time basically. So now usually in terms of top sets, when I would come up to like my top sets for deadlifts or bench or whatever, I would usually go like four or five top sets of that weight. But I noticed that I was getting super fatigued for like my third, fourth, fifth set. So basically I wasn't pushing as hard as I could in my first and my second because I wanna do basically save my energy for those last sets, right? 
So that's different with my programming now is that I'm literally giving it my all for my first like one or two sets, maybe three depending on the mesocycle or like what training phase I'm in, but um, not like complete failure. I would say like RP almost nine, nine and a half. And then maybe the last set I will go like to complete, you know, muscular failure so I can get the most out of that exercise. But I'm gonna do my last top set and then move into probably some straight RDLs. You wanna do leg press? like press and just machine stuff but I'm really focusing on recovery more now because like I mentioned I think I was just doing too much volume before and I was really like affecting my numbers in terms of increase them over time so always prioritize rest recovery as much as possible This fucking guy. <laughs> he knows, he knows. All right, workout all done. Okay, we pulled up to uh, this place. Roma Pizza and Donair. So I'm actually not getting anything because I just bought sushi the other day and it was very expensive. And now that I actually live on my own, I actually watch like what I buy and like how much you eat out way more just because it adds up very quickly. Like you can go out to eat for 20, 30 bucks and that can be like half your groceries for the week and it actually makes a big difference. So I'm trying to limit myself to only eating out like once a week if that. I already ate out once this week in terms of that sushi so I'm not having anything but pretty sure he's just gonna cheese donair and he's a hard gainer. Everybody has a different maintenance amount but um, yeah, Danny just picked up his donair here. I'm gonna get food because I'm starving. <laughs> What'd you get champ? <laughs> donair baby. <laughs> cheese? Yes sir. What'd you get in it? Lettuce, banana peppers and onion. No tomatoes? Tomatoes. Bro, that tomato guy? Come on, Only bro. on burgers and sandwiches. Can you give me a bite? F no. Bro! Dude. Reese's Puffs, scoop protein, almond milk, tuna, rice, veggie. Donair. Oh, you got man. it. <laughs> How is it? Out of 10. The donair, it's a 10. <laughs> Randomly, some guy just asked me, yo, I got 3K calories left in the day and it's 720. What the f should I eat? That's quick calories with high protein. Guy said it right there. You have 3,000 calories left in the day and it's 720. First of all, you should definitely space out your meals better. You're probably gonna be on the toilet like all night or tomorrow morning. Like you're gonna be shitting yourself. But uh, if you can stomach milk, make a massive shake, two scoops of protein, like four tablespoons of peanut butter. You can throw some almonds in there, some granola, some fruit, some yogurt, um, and use regular milk. Like I use almond milk just because even with me having high calories, I'd still rather eat my calories because my appetite is insane so but in terms of like more calories have like two percent milk whole milk one percent doesn't really matter it's just gonna be more calories right in terms of having three thousand calories left i don't know order a pizza have a massive shake that'll be probably around three thousand probably around there so but in terms of my workout split and like uh like how i build muscle right now in my lean gaining phase i know i briefly mentioned it at the gym like day one two three rest four five six rest and that's kind of how i do it so basically it'll be like chest back a arm shoulders a and then lower a and then rest and chest back B, arm shoulders B, lower B. So basically I will like, I'll just throw it up on the screen like what I'm prioritizing. So bench press on day number one A, and then on arm shoulders A, I'm doing a seated shoulder press. And then on uh, the first leg day, that squat day, usually it'll be like either Smith machine squats or even just a regular barbell. I used to hate Smith machine for anything. I just didn't think that it was optimal for building muscle, but I was totally wrong. Don't neglect the Smith machine at all. But after that, I just rest and then uh, for 
chest back. B, I will usually prioritize back a little bit more, especially because I'm trying to bring up my back during this bulk kind of. So, so in terms of that, I'll start off with like probably a heavy row, and then I'll get into maybe some dumbbell presses. Again, like I'm working up to one or two top sets on pretty much every single exercise, usually six to eight reps right now. And then while I, you know, either plateau or get used to those amounts, I will up the reps or up the sets, or I will up the weight because that's how you progressively overload and increase your volume over time to build muscle properly, right? So then on arm shoulders B, usually it will be like a standing overhead press. And then for lower B, it is deadlifts like we did today. So usually just like two or three compounds per workout, big heavy compounds at the start, really prioritizing those one to two top sets like I already mentioned, and then doing a drop back set uh, of like 15, 20 reps to get in that volume. So now I am lowering my volume, but I'm making sure that those top sets I am giving it my all and uh, you know, I'm I'm basically just pushing almost till failure on those sets so that, you know, I get the most out of the workout. So guys, in terms of like the sets you do and like how many working sets or like what you prioritize in the gym, AKA like your main compound movements or the muscle groups you want to bring up, everybody is going to be different, right? So don't just follow what I'm doing and you know, think that you're just going to get the same results that I do because again, obviously, you know, everyone's going to react differently to different training splits and you know, how much volume they're putting into their program. So yeah, just run with it and be consistent and be patient because Obviously building muscle takes time, right? So that's basically my entire weekly training split and like what I'm doing right now. If you guys do want help with anything, I don't mention it that much, but I do do online coaching and I do have like two or three spots left available right now. So if you guys do want to hit me up, just email me or DM me on Instagram, something like that. And then I can reach back out to you because spots are usually limited and I want to focus on the people that join in so that I can get them the best results possible. Yeah, I think I have like a couple spots left and then I'm going to be opening a bunch for the new year, but I will let you guys know about that. So. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget about the raw gear drop. If you guys do want anything, use my code Brett. It supports me, and uh, I'm actually trying to uh, get my mom something for Christmas. So that would actually help me out very much in, in terms of uh, you know the expense on that because uh, I have an idea of kind of what I want, but it's uh, kind of out of my range right now. But if uh, if, if enough of you, I think, you know, help me out with this, then uh, then we'll make it happen. But hopefully, mom, you're not watching this video. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please like, sub, all that good shit, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Love you.